In this episode, we'll start to work on our product details page. So whenever I click on one of these, you'll see that we are getting to a different route right here. And from this, we have the images, we have details here, and we can switch colors. We have quantity, we are increasing and decreasing quantity, and then we have product reviews. But uh, before we do that, we need to learn how we can create different routes and pages in our application so we'll see how we can create normal pages and uh, dynamic pages in this particular video let's jump into our code here and we see how we can create just a normal page and we'll try and create this cut page right here and to create normal pages which are not dynamic it's very easy we just need to click on up then add a new folder and then you give this folder a name in this case it will be cut and this cut now will be the name of our route okay so this is this will be the name of that appears here okay and then in here we create a new file at least one file which is mandatory which is the page.tsx file and then we create a component for it straight trace functional component and right here we can just say cut and we return something Let's return a div and we'll say this is the cut page and I save and this is how we can create a normal route and that way we can go to a stroke cut and we'll be able to load this particular component. So let's see if it works. So if I come here let cut, okay, not this one. This is the complete one. If I come to the one we are working on on localhost and then we go to cut. Okay, uh, currently I can't click but right here i can navigate manually i can say stroke cut and i hit enter you'll see that we get here to our cut page awesome so to create a dynamic page we just need to click on up again we add a new folder and in this case let's create the product details page which will be dynamic so we give this folder a name and i'll say product and then in here we create another folder and in this case we will use square brackets and in this square brackets we will give our id a, a variable name so we'll call it product id and we hit enter and then now you see it's two folders product and then another folder but the way we name it we use square brackets now we now add a new file inside this product id here and this file must be called page.tsx it can be ts it can be js uh, whichever you want and then right here state rest functional component and we can call this product and in here we can go ahead and say that this is the product page so let's say product page so i save if i go to stroke products we won't get anything so if i go to stroke product i don't get anything this page is not found but if we add an id which makes it dynamic like that one a random id uh, we get to the product page so it doesn't have to be a real id for now it can be even be just stroke one and that will still get us to the product page now that we are in this page uh, how can we access this id in this particular page we need to accept uh, the params prop right here okay so here we'll be having params but we need to define the type for this so we can create an interface here so i'll say interface and i params and right here we'll have our product id and this can be optional so i'll use optional it will be a string like that and then these i params i can pass it right here like these so i can use full colon here and i can say params type will be i params like that and now these params uh, will give us access to that id of the product or the page so right here we can log it to the console so i can say console dot log of our params so remember this page is a server component so this console log will not appear on the browser but on the server 
So when I save, we should check our VS Code terminal and not our browser. So here you can see params and we have product ID as one. So that is how we can access this ID and we'll be later using it to fetch our products from the database, okay? Okay, cool. Now, how can we navigate uh, whenever we click a product from here and we move to our dynamic page? So we just need to include a route to our on-click event. So what we will do, we will go to the product card. So we had components, then we had products, then product card. So we'll come to the product card and we will make the entire of this card clickable by using our use router hook. So this is how we will do it. So before defining product rating right here, uh, I can say const router will be equal to, and I'll make use of use router. And these will come from our next navigation, which is not being suggested. For now, I'll click on this one, but it will not come from next router. It will come from next stroke navigation like that. And then here, I'll make sure that I am calling this like that. Now we can make use of this router right here. We add an on-click event. So I'll say on-click. And then right here, I'll pass an arrow function and we can return our router dot push. And right here, I'll make use of backticks. I'll say stroke product. Now this will be our product path and then stroke. Now right here, we need to add the ID dynamically. So I include these, the money sign and the curry brackets. And then we say data dot id and i go ahead and save now whenever we click on any of this card we will be able to navigate to uh, that page for that particular product so here i click on this page and look we get to this particular id which ends with an a now if i click on this one The previous was ending with an A, this doesn't. And if we check at our params here, you'll see that we have all this and we are able to get a specific product right there. So this is awesome. Now in the next episode, uh, let's explore on uh, creating this page details.